Hello, you fun to watch here. Back with another video. Today is one of my biggest hauls for 2023. Probably the next largest one will be for Christmas or roughly around that area for Black Friday. But today's haul, we have a super large amount of merchandise and stuff from a fan, which I will mention in a second. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so at the beginning of this month, I have gotten the Giant Freddy and giant bonnie then i got burn trap roxanne wolf replacement and golden freddy waited like six to eight months for considering he was probably underproduced all right next off we have is kiram v from pokemon i got this from amazon all right future fun time here i forgot to put this in the main section with the stuff i bought but like i have gotten firework freddy action figure with my own money but yeah now let's get on to the fans merchandise that they offered me. All right, before we get into anything else, you might be wondering, hey, fun time, why are you zoomed up in front of Bonnie? Well, I have a special mention for somebody. A fan has said that they would give me fan mail. They offered. I did not ask them for it. But yeah, it, a fan offer, offered me their merchandise that they didn't want anymore. So I took the offer. No, they did not. No, I did not ask for it or anything like that. But I did give them my personal information. I I barely give that to anybody because I have fear of someone stealing my collection. So yeah, everything else is from a fan. Their name is Moxie. That's all I'm allowed to say. That's all they wanted for a mention. Yeah, just like shout out to Moxie if you're watching this. Thank you so much. I do greatly, very appreciate it. You are amazing, and thank you so much. All right, one last thing. I did offer to pay him for shipping or a percentage of it, but no, they said they didn't want to be paid at all. They just wanted for me to review it. So I'm going to do that pretty soon. Not sure when, but it'll be, it'll be adding on to my videos before break. So yeah, without further ado, now let's get into it. First item they got me is the Glamrock Freddy Snaps. This was all in the same purchase. Well, the same order that they purchased from. They offered it to me. So please do not hate on me, do not hate on them. They offered this to me for free. It was a total surprise. But yeah, so I got, I got like, I'm not spoiling it, but you'll see the rest. I'm really excited to show it. But we have the Glamrock Freddy snaps. The Vanny and technically Vanessa snaps, cause you do have Vanessa's face in there and there's two faces for Vanny. Next off have, we have here is the Vanessa with the hallway. This is a really interesting one. This is like half of this. Oh, I'm spoiling it. Half of a bigger set, which is really, really cool in my eyes, honestly. We have a cheaper option to get a figure and this little scenery build now. But yeah, let's get on to the next one. Next off we have here is Neon Freddy in a dressing room. These were all sent to me by a fan, which is I'm really grateful for. I really do appreciate it. I'll not stop mentioning this in this video because there's a lot to get to. All right, so we got Montgomery Gators dressing room. This is really cool. I really like all the greenery and all that around it. I and mean, Freddy's is pretty cool. But I personally like Monty's a bit more. It looks more, you know, I guess organic. Then next off we have here is Montgomery Gator and Glamrock Chica. This is the original two pack with non neon Montgomery Gator and an original Chica. Original Glamrock Chica of her shattered face. Yeah, this is really cool if you ask me. I'm really hyped to open this and review it. Unfortunately, during shipping, this has happened to a lot of people, but Funko doesn't glue these that tight. Probably for, you know, younger audiences to open it easier. But that could probably cause more theft of this, uh, these items, in my opinion. But yeah, let's move on to the next item. All right, last up we have is retired FNAF merch. So let's start off with the first one. We have animatronic Foxy. Yes, it still works. I'm not gonna use it as like an animatronic. I'm just gonna keep this on display. Yeah, I finally got the animatronic Foxy from a fan. Again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Then we have gotten, this is all from a fan too. We have gotten one McFarlane set, two McFarlane sets with figures. Three McFarlane sets. Four McFarlane sets, because it's a Nerd block, block exclusive Balloon Boy. Five McFarlane. Alright, so we got four McFarlane sets over here. 
which I'm very grateful for. These are really, really rare, especially Nightmare Mango and Nightmare Freddy. Hard to find and really expensive on the aftermarket. And fan just gifted me to, this to me, so I'm very, very grateful for it, and I really do appreciate it. Again, her name is Moxie. I will not give her last, you know, like, I will not give out their, like, numbers or anything for her YouTube channel. I'm just gonna, you know, just say... Thank you so much, Moxie. I really do appreciate it. If you do comment, I'll pin your comment. But guys, please do not bother them about this. Please don't, honestly. Just before we get into Samurai Foxy, I kind of spoiled it, but we have Nerdbox Exclusive Balloon Boy, the Toy Stage, the Bed, and the Closet from... These are from Wave 2, Nerdbox Exclusive Wave 1 or 2 Balloon Boy, and then... The show toy, sh the toy stage from one of the older lines of McFarlane merch. It was one of her last. I was like five or six, maybe. Don't exactly remember when, but let's get to that last McFarlane set, and we'll go into the last thing. Second thought, I'll just show this off real quickly. We have the Freddy plush heads from Funko. Yeah, this is really nice. Honestly, I love how this looks. Honestly. And yeah, I mean, like, we're almost done completing this video. It's just a plush head to complete like, my collection, and it is fully tagged too, which is amazing, honestly. Cannot wait to you put this on display. But yeah, let's get on to the last bit. I did forget to mention earlier that they also gave me a pig patch. Unfortunately, during shipping, the whole box got ripped. Probably from water damage, I'm not sure. But yeah, unfortunately, um, the postal service kind of, you know, damaged the box. Certainly, last but not least, we have Samurai Foxy from Ultimate Custom Night. This set is killer. It looks amazing. I mean, the Foxy figure, kind of weird in my personal opinion, but hey, it's McFarlane. It, it's, it's their own company. They can do what they want. Yeah, I mean, this is a really nice figure if you ask me. I still have to build the, last, the final wave, not the re-release, but the final wave. But other than that, that's basically it. So let's conclude the let's do an overview and conclude the video. All right, starting to conclude the video from top to bottom: Firework Freddy action figure and the Vanny snaps, the jumbo action figures of Freddy and Bonnie, the Glamrock Freddy snaps, Burn Trap, Roxanne, and Golden Freddy U2s, the Pig Patch Pot, the Samurai Foxy buildable set from McFarlane, the Montgomery Gator and Glamrock Chica snap. The Kurum V-Card, the Closet, the Bed, the Toy Stage, Nerdblock Exclusive Balloon Boy from, from McFarlane. Then we have the Freddy, little Freddy Funko head from Funko. Then we have the Snaps playsets for Security Breach with Neon Freddy and Neon Monty. Then we have Vanessa with Hallway. Then the last thing we have here is the Foxy animatronic plush. All right, before we get into a conclusion of this video, ignore if you hear, if you hear any booming sounds. It's almost the 4th of July, and my town likes to do fireworks every so often around this area. So, yeah, if you hear any booms, that's what's going on. But other than that, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank Moxie in particular for sending me all this stuff. If you want to send me fan mail, I'm not doing fan mail just for my safety and my family's safety, and so I don't lose my collection in the process or get robbed or anything. Because I don't have the money for a P.O. box. I did this because the fan was really, really wanting to send me fan mail. And it went above and beyond. I'm very grateful for this. I will not be selling this or anything like that. It'll stay in my collection. I'll make space for it. I have some places where I might put these. But yeah. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much Moxie for giving me all, for giving me most of this. And yeah. Bye.